Dracula? It's the real fucking Dracula! Some call me Dracula. Others, the Lord of Death. <laughs> so you bring them people to eat? Well, I do other stuff. Like what? Wash his cape? The cape is dry clean only, strictly. Yeah, I'm aware this is this fly, yeah. Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2023 horror comedy, Renfield. The film is directed by Chris McKay and it stars Nicholas Holt, Nicholas Cage, Aquafina and Ben Schwartz. Now the film focuses mainly on Nicholas Holt's character, Renfield, who we learn at the beginning of the film is um, becomes Dracula's uh, familiar uh, by 90 years previously and his job and only sole purpose is to be the slave of Count Dracula played by Nicolas Cage by bringing him victims and in return he gets a little taste of Dracula's power every time he eats a bug. Um, however, as the years have gone on, Renfield has decided that he no longer wishes to be um, in this codependent relationship and a victim and he wants to fight back and get his life back however Dracula is in no mood for giving him up right what are my thoughts on Renfield well honestly guys you may or you may not know I mean I, I am a huge fan of Nicolas Cage um, I just think he's such a wonderful actor and i'm really delighted that he's starting to come in from the cold if you like even though i have enjoyed a number of his performances over the last few years and i'm in my opinion even when he does a b movie straight to video dvd streaming movie whatever you want to call it you know he always puts effort in he always respects the craft of acting and he's always usually the best thing in most films that you watch with him in it um i thought last year's the unbearable weight of massive talent it was my favorite film of last year i thought it was wonderful absolutely brilliant so needless to say when i and probably many of you found out that nicholas cage was going to be playing dracula in renfield i got a little bit excited now it's pretty much one of the dream projects i think of nicholas cage he jumped at the chance of playing this role he's always wanted to play dracula apparently um, and needless to say, he's absolutely brilliant in this role. Um, yes, he's over the top. He's completely Nicolas Cage. You know, he's um, he plays it sinister, but comedic. I mean, he does everything right, I think, with this character. I really, really enjoyed his portrayal of Dracula. Um, it's, it's an homage to what's come before. Uh, in regards to the classics, his favourite, I believe, is Christopher Lee. But he's always, I think he's tried to draw inspiration from um, many of the iconic performances before, but put his own little spin um, on the role. And I think it works wonderfully. He's brilliant in the film. But the only complaint is he's not in it enough. Because Nicholas Holt, as good as Nicholas Holt is in this film as Renfield... Um, I wanted to see more Dracula in this film, and that's really one of my only complaints, really, of this film. The film really is Renfield's film. It focuses very heavily on him trying to get out of this, you know, um, abusive, toxic relationship with Dracula, and it's quite comedic how they do it, really. But it never... This film, while it is comedic and funny, uh, and tongue-in-cheek, and all them kind of stuff, self-aware, the whole, the whole lot... It still remains true to the horror genre in the sense of it's pretty unforgiving, it's pretty brutal, and it's pretty gory. Some of it's quite comedic gory, um, and some of it is really quite vicious as well, you know, as you would expect from um, a film with Dracula in it, especially one as sinister as the Dracula is in this film. Um, so it really holds on quite strongly to its horror roots, this film but allows you in to enjoy the film. Now, I think that aspect of the film worked brilliantly for me. What didn't work for me in this film is this whole side story of Aquafina's, who plays Rebecca, a cop who is determined to bring down the local criminals who killed her father. That's fair enough, you would say. Um, she's on this like vendetta to bring them down. And while she has a few moments and scenes in this film that you can kind of cope with i'm not gonna lie i found her overall really quite annoying her character 
Um, I've, everything I've ever seen her in, and all I can really remember seeing her in, and I'm probably seeing her in other stuff, was the Shang Chi film, and, and she was easily the worst thing in that film, and she's easily the worst thing in this film. And I, I'm not trying to be cruel there. I just don't think the film needed that subplot. Not really. I think they could have maybe done something a little bit different. The stuff with his support group, they could have expanded on that massively. He could have, like, rather than build this relationship with Rebecca, this police officer that he kind of falls for, it could have been someone at the support group that he fell for, and they could have they could have intertwined the story that way. Um, so the whole plot with this police officer, Rebecca, I think not didn't necessarily work, but I understand they needed to create conflict in the film to give it a different dynamic. I just wasn't massively keen on the conflict that they created, if you like. Um, but overall, I would probably say that's a fairly minor criticism. And I think if 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 it had have kind of maybe cast someone differently in that role or did something different with that part or did something different with that character, I might have enjoyed that part of the film a little bit more. I did also like the fact that at the beginning of the film, because he's still got a conscience and stuff, Renfield, he almost goes like down a Dexter route of trying to bring vac Dracula victims of um, vic uh, of people who are who've done wrong, which is why he ends up initially going to this support group because he's is targeting the partners or the people that have, you know, been toxic to these people in the support group. He's going to making them Dracula's victim, and I thought, well, that that could have been an interesting dynamic, but they don't really expand on that either because Dracula, you know, isn't necessarily keen on chomping down on these people. He wants nuns and virgins and the whole shebang sort of thing. Um, so, yeah, I thought that they did play around with some interesting ideas in this film, but they, I think they didn't necessarily expand on them enough. But I, I, I did think the film was wonderfully gory at times as well. I mean, um, I have seen people complain a little bit about the CGI blood, and I definitely understand that. There are There is a couple of moments where the CGI blood um, looked very cgi -y, I suppose. Um, but, you know, it didn't necessarily take away from the enjoyment of the film, certainly not for me. And I, I think if this had been a full-on serious horror, it probably uh, might have harmed it a little bit. But because it was a horror comedy, um, I thought it was fine, really, to use the CGI blood. And it almost didn't look like blood. It almost like they'd toned the red down in it a little bit, maybe to appease the censors. I'm not really sure. Um but there were there's moments in this film where it will definitely have you laughing out loud. Um, it is at times very very funny. Um, I thought the scene where this kind of Ben, ben Swartz who plays uh, Tedward Lobo, one of these gangsters that uh, Rebecca's trying to bring down, is like running away from her, saying I've not done anything wrong while throwing like packs of drugs at her sort of thing. I thought that was quite amusing. Um, but. The flip side of that is as well, is is not only is the film funny um, when it tries to be funny, most of the jokes land, I thought, anyway, but the action was superb as well. You know, he almost turns into a superhero, Renfield, when he eats these bugs. It kind of gives him a sample of Dracula's power, and he, he turns into, like, an X-Men or, you know, some, some mutant sort of thing, and he's, you know, he's full-on superhero mode. Uh, which makes for some really fun and interesting scenes. So overall, I, I, it's one of those films, if you like, you know, when you watch a film or see the tr when you see a trailer of a film and you're kind of like, yeah, that's that's what I want to see. And then you go to the film and see it and you come out of the film thinking, yep, yeah, I got exactly what I wanted from that film. And this this is it, really, pretty much. It's exactly what I expected and exactly what I wanted. I think with a couple of tweaks here and there, it could have been even better. But overall, I was very, very satisfied with this. And who's not going to be satisfied seeing Nicolas Cage kicking ass as Count Dracula? It is a joy to behold. So thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the review. I'll be back with more content on the channel very, very soon.